In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus CaOH2. That's nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So to balance that, we'll put a 2 in front of the HNO3 and in front of the H2O. So that balances the equation. Next, we need to write the state for each of the substances. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid. That's going to dissociate completely in water, so it'll be aqueous. Calcium hydroxide is a strong base. That's going to dissociate completely too, and that'll give us an aqueous solution. Nitrates are very soluble. We have calcium nitrate here. We could look this up on a solubility table if we weren't sure, but since nitrates are soluble, I'm going to assume this is aqueous here, and then we have water, which is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the soluble compounds up into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. So only the soluble compounds can be split apart. Those are the ones with the AQ. Before we do that, though, we should figure out the charge on each of the ions here so we can split it apart. Let's look at the periodic table for that. So in the nitric acid, the HNO3, we can see hydrogen right here, 1 plus, that's in group 1. And then the nitrate, we're not going to find that on the periodic table. That's a polyatomic ion, and the nitrate ion, one you should memorize, has a charge. This whole NO3 has a charge of 1 minus. We'll put a minus up here. Calcium, group 2, right here, 2 plus. Hydroxide, that's another polyatomic ion. If we look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, or just have it memorized, that the whole hydroxide ion, that has a 1 minus charge. So we'll put a minus up there. And you note that there's two of them, so 2 times the minus. That balances out the 2 plus. 2 plus, we said, minus. And then for the water, since it's a liquid, we're not going to split that apart into its ions. So we have all the ions. Let's split them apart. We have H plus, and I won't write AQ after everything. We'll do that at the end. And I have two of these hydrogen ions, plus the nitrate, NO3, minus. I have two of those. This two applies to everything, so we'll put a two here. And then we have the calcium ion, Ca2+, plus, plus the hydroxide ion, which had that negative charge. This two means we have two hydroxide ions, so we'll put a two here. So those are the reactants in our equation. For the products, we have Ca2+, plus, plus the nitrate ion, NO3-, minus, and we have two of those. And then we have the water, H2O, which is the liquid, and we have two of those. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out things that are the same on both sides, and that'll give us the net ionic equation. In effect, the things that are the same on both sides haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. They're still in solution. So let's see, the only thing, I see that we have two nitrates here and two nitrates here. We can cross those out. And then we have this Ca2 plus here. We can cross that out as well. And that leaves us with the net ionic equation. And we can clean that up, and that'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus CaOH2. However, we could make this a little bit clearer. Since we have 2, 2, and 2, we could really reduce that to the lowest common denominator, to the 1. So we could just get rid of these. And in a place, we could put 1. We don't actually write 1 in these equations. It's assumed to be there. So this is a simpler net ionic equation, probably the one that your instructors are looking for. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.